there has been a recent rise of violence and hate crimes directly towards the Asian American Pacific Islander community. So I stand before you today, so sad and hurt to say that we lost the lives of many who were in no wrongdoing, but rather born the body recognized as a virus and seen as a target. Just last Tuesday, eight people were brutally murdered by someone who's having a so-called bad day. A bad day? Do not call it a bad day. It was a direct racist hate crime targeting Asian women. Do you know what I do on my bad day? Do you know what we do on our bad days? We mourn, we cry, we ache, and we're so broken that we're constantly losing the people we love. We beg, and I beg my mother, my grandmother, my father, mother, sisters not to leave their house because we don't know they're gonna come home. On the evening of Tuesday, March 16th, 2021, a 21 year old white gunman opened fire upon three separate massage parlors in the greater Atlanta area, leaving eight dead, six of whom were women of Asian descent. Here I say their names to remind us that these people were human beings with hopes, dreams, and promises for the future. SC Park, 74. HJ Kim, 51. SC Kim, 69. Y.A. Yue, 63. Delena Ashley Yan, 33. Xiao Jie Tan, 49, Dao Yu Feng, 44, and Paul Andre Michels, 54. When I first heard about the shooting, I didn't know how to feel. I know so many people were sad or outraged, but for me, this didn't come as a surprise. To me, it almost felt normal because members of our community face unseen violences every day. The society that I live in has done little to nothing to support and protect me and my fellow AAPI people from violence. Everyone is complicit in his fetishization of our bodies. Asian American women are not your temptation, we are not your toys, and we are not your fantasies. Fetishization is racism. I look in the mirror and I see an anxious bullseye anticipating the day someone hits me right in the center. My body should be a safe space, a home, a sanctuary for all the complexities that I am. Instead, my body reminds me that to the world today, the only explanation of myself I get to give is the physical reflection of my ethnic identity. Anti-Asian sentiment is never a new thing. As one of the oldest immigration communities, the AAPI people had to survive a brutal history in the past 150 years. Please remember that this is your country and you have every right as any other Americans to demand social justice. I need people to not be okay with what's happening. I need people to care. I need people to do something. We have to organize together and shatter the oppressive structures and replace it with one of peace, food, and land. How do we organize? Well, talk to each other. Talk to people who think like you. And properly make change. It shouldn't have to come down to a couple of students who are grieving and not even having time to process this, uh, these hate crimes for UMD to say something or do something about it. We actually need change and we need to do better for the marginalized communities here at UMD.